We are happy today to be at the final stages of the completion of this 2021 Land Cruiser. This may be the last of its kind. This is a brand new Land Cruiser that was sent to us from Eric Sargent at Ed Martin Toyota. This was a collaboration that we did together. You may have seen the video regarding the white 2020 Heritage. This is the second one we're finishing up. And as I mentioned, I think it's the last of its kind. They haven't made these trucks for over a year. So this is kind of special and we want to go over some of the features on this vehicle with you today. It may be no surprise that we have our newly released Slee Off-Road front bumper. Uh, we shot a video specifically on this pointing out all the features, so we don't need to do that today. Some of the unique things, he did take advantage of all the uh, options with this. That includes the Ba Designs SA light bar, Ba Designs S2 lights in amber. Uh, we, he did go with the cool feature of the light to illuminate the winch drum. We chose to wire this light to the second battery so it can be used and stayed on and with no concern about having to start the vehicle. Another little small thing, uh, we added the quick release for the ARB compressor up front. Uh, this can be used to air up into individual tires on the front or uh, a splitter can be used to air both front tires at the same time. Uh, you can see on the bottom as well, the Slee Off-Road skid plate. So one unique feature is we use this vehicle to kind of showcase our new and upcoming suspension Slee Off-Road works very closely with the guys at ADS Racing Shocks. We have a whole line of Slee Off-Road branded shocks for all the Land Cruiser models. This is a true two and a half inch body uh, coilover, as well as as a large two and a half inch reservoir. These have the compression adjusters or often referred to as the clickers. Um, we also comply, comprise this with the SPC upper control arms. These are one of our favorite arms in that they offer so much adjustment. They allow us to have a or allow us to have more control of the alignment and the tire fitment so we can fine tune things for each vehicle individually. So not new, however, this got the Airby snorkel, uh, which is used between Airby and Safari. This snorkel, some things that people don't quite realize, the snorkel is designed to be used with the factory air box. That allows you to use the factory Toyota air filter. We feel very strongly about the, the Toyota air filter and not going to some of the quote unquote upgrades of a can in or a cotton gauze filter that requires a lot more surfacing. The filter stays a lot cleaner with the snorkel in place. The air that comes into the snorkel has a tendency to stay much cleaner, especially when traveling in groups of vehicles for the dust from the factory, the air would enter the air box from inside the wheel well, whereas in this case, it enters from the ram of the snorkel. Some other small things that don't always known, the snorkel is designed where there's a major water intrusion there's little vents on the side where the water will hit the back of the ram and drain out through these versus getting forced into the engine. So that's some little things that sometimes doesn't get addressed when talking about snorkels. So this is the video, first video we've done about dual batteries. Slee Off-Road is known for our battery trays and making it easier to put dual batteries in your Toyota and Lexus vehicles. What we did do differently in this vehicle is normally we would have used an AGM battery for the second battery. In this case, we worked with the guys at Battleborn. This is a lithium ion battery. The Red Arc BC DC chargers work both with any type of batteries. In this case, it's, it's set up perfectly for a lithium battery to be charged properly. Um, with the use of the lithium battery, we have also used a shunt. In this case, it is a Victron Energy shunt, which has Bluetooth, it has its own app. With using lithium, one of the many things that are different from a traditional battery is that it requires a shunt to truly see the state of charge of the battery and the percentage remaining. On the Slee Off-Road accessory tray, that was a great place to mount the shunt. Also, we put our charge plug here. This is where we'll connect our solar panel. Our solar panel energizes the Red Arc BC-DC and then powers the lithium ion battery. Moving over to the starting battery, again, we used our Slee Off-Road battery upgrade tray. This allows you to cleanly and comfortably install a Group 31 battery. That is an upgrade in size and capacity over the Factory 27. Uh, Eric Sargent loves using the Odyssey battery, so he chose this himself. Uh, this fits very well in here. We also use the Slee Off-Road billet battery terminals. It's hard to see, but the nice thing about the Slee Off-Road billet battery terminals is that it retains the factory Toyota battery cable ends. So there's no modification to the factory harness and then allows us many other options to add accessories. One of the questions that we get often is people get the battery extensions and they wonder about the uh, extra threaded holes here. This negative terminal is actually used on a multitude of Toyota Land Cruiser applications. One of the holes is purposely 
threaded a different thread so that you can thread in a lug on some of the early 100 series Land Cruisers. The factory Toyota clamp is part of the actual part that attracts to the terminal. So this allows someone in their garage to install this without having to cut the wires or have any type of cable crimpers. Uh, additionally, here you can see the ARB twin compressor. Again, this is not something new. What is new in this is in addition to having a rear locker installed, which this solenoid is for here, this is the new system that ARB offers that allows you to set the target pressure that comes out of the solenoid. We talked about the quick connect in the front bumper earlier. This allows you to pull the air out of the quick connect and set the tire pressure based on an app on your phone. We'll set a, do another video specifically on that later, but this is a very neat system. If you are scared of the dark, this truck is for you. It has lights everywhere. To control those lights, many of the new vehicles don't have room in the dash to have all the switches we would do on some of the older vehicles like this 80 series is next to me. We like to run the Switch Pro switch panel. One of the beauties of the Switch Pros is that it's all solid state, which stands it apart from many of the other switch systems out there. In this case, we chose to put the controller in the sunglass holder, which is also a slee off-road bracket that we make and is available on our website. Through the Switch Pros, another feature is that everything can be controlled through Bluetooth. In the front, we have amber fog lights. These are wired up to the factory fog light switch. In addition to that, there is amber uh, daytime running lights that are on the front light bar. The light bar also is extremely bright, has its own light. There is a light bar on the roof rack, which also has daytime running lights that are coupled with the light bar daytime running lights. That is also extremely bright. That's okay, there's still more. We have lights that shine on the ground, they're amber. These are our rock lights. I can do that from my phone. We have lights in the sliders that open up with the doors. These illuminate the step area as well as produce some light on the ground. We have lights on the sides of the roof rack. These are work scene lights, so very broad pattern. We have lights on the back of the roof rack. Very bright, blinding myself. I'll turn those off for now. We have a chase light that's in amber on the rear bumper. Find that. And included in the rear bumper from Sleeve Road is the Rigid Industries backup lights. These are both coupled when the vehicle is put into reverse or also controlled on a switch. So lights everywhere. If this ain't enough light, we can add more lights for you as well. But this project has them pretty well covered. Obviously, this truck is built to be used. Turns out, we have more lights. When you go camping, you need lights everywhere. Uh, we did a couple things. Again, not the first time that you've seen these lights used here at Slee Off Road. It's a popular application for us. Uh, these can be three brightnesses of white on either side, or three brightnesses of red on this side, or amber. If you hold this button down, turns to amber, toggle through covers most of the bases. If this doesn't cover the bases, we have another set of lights in the location where the original third row seat belts were mounted. We reutilize those locations for an additional set of amber lights that are on our rocker switch here. All the lights you see in the back are powered off the second battery, so there is no concern to be, or not be able to start the vehicle because you've used too much power. We are using a Trek box in the back Trexbox has done a very good job as far as giving you different ways to organize things. Uh, they have one giant drawer that slides out here. You have storage in the original wheel well areas on both sides. And then the fridge slide has a double slide out. This is a work area that opens up. And then it slides out along with the fridge to give you even more work area. The fridge location comes with an extra panel if you didn't have the fridge that would cap, cap the top off and that could be used as a secondary option if you weren't carrying a fridge at that time. But that's included with the drawer system. And there's a cargo divider here so you can stack everything up to the top of the ceiling and not have it fall into the fridge when you open the fridge or fall into the passenger area. There's another storage of the area for small things that can be stacked up here and not fall into the fridge when you open this. Some of the small things that aren't quite seen at front is we have the second battery power has been drawn all the way to the rear. There is a fuse box that all the power from the fuse box is then isolated or sorry, distributed through the power we have. The original cup holders have a traditional U, uh, automotive 12 volt as well as USB. 
We have another 12 volt and USB here at the back of the drawer system. Very easy to get to in both areas. The cup holder location can some also be used in the second row seat. If you have children with iPads, iPhones, things of that nature, it could be used there off the second battery. One thing that we started doing on this vehicle, which is very neat, these trucks already have a factory inverter powered in them. One of the frustrations, that inverter can only be used from Toyota when the engine is running. We have reused that same system, the factory inverter, kept it in the factory location. However, the inverter is now powered off of the second battery and you have a switch and you can turn that inverter on and use it whether the vehicle's on or off, powered off the second lithium battery. You thought we were done talking about lights. There's more lights. Should you need to work under the hood, we have lights under the hood as well. We have a switch here that's two position. You can turn them on manually or you can turn them on to where they open and close automatically with a pin switch that we added under the hood here. Like we said, lights everywhere. So another first on this Ed Martin build is the new Slee Off-Road Fire Extinguisher Bracket. Different than others on the industry, this bracket mounts directly to the seat and not to the seat bottom. This allows the seat to be used in the full range of motion all the way back and all the way forward for different sizes of passengers instead of restricting the motion of the seat. The Slee Off-Road Bracket can be used with a multitude of fire extinguishers and fire extinguisher brackets. In this case, again, this is a special build. We're doing the Ed Martin, so no, no stops here. This is a Halon fire extinguisher with a billet bracket. This removes very quickly. The Halon fire extinguisher allows it to be used without any of that white mess that comes with a traditional fire extinguisher. We want to thank Eric Sargent at Ed Martin Toyota for trusting us and allow us to build this great project for him and his dealership. The unique thing about this one, this is a brand new truck. It's on its way back to them. If you catch the timing right, this could be available for purchase. If you like what you see, contact us at Slee Off-Road. We can build you a Slee-built Land Cruiser of your dreams.